Hi, I'm Jeremy Pearson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are here today to talk about practical spirituality. Um, so this is going to be my first installment on this series, talking about uh, the different parts of the spiritual awakening or the journey of self-discovery. And uh, I've decided that I'm going to start with honesty. Honesty is the most important thing for the beginning phases of the spiritual awakening. Uh, I have to be honest with who I am and what I am. Let me start by saying that uh, the word spiritual, to me it was a very elusive word. It didn't really have any meaning to it at first. And it was uh, something I was very interested in. Anything spiritual caught my attention, but I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know uh, what spirituality was. Um, so I always was interested in magic, mystical things. Uh, but it always eluded me. And the reason it eluded me was mostly because I always felt that I needed to be somebody else, that I needed to be something other than what I was. I always felt that other people knew more than I did about it. And until I knew as much as they knew or achieved the things that they achieved, that I would not be spiritual. That is the very thing that stood in my way, that idea, that thought that what I was wasn't enough somehow. So I tried many different things. I tried a lot of different forms of spirituality, different forms of religion. I tried meditation. I tried all kinds of different things, as I said. And uh, eventually it became so exhausting that I just decided, I, I just need to be human right now. I just need to be fully human. And give up on this journey to find something out there to make me feel whole and complete. I would talk to people that were psychics and, and I always envied them. I felt like I wanted to see things like they did or I wanted to know things like they knew. I wanted to hear things like they heard. I wanted to experience experiences like they did. But I was experiencing a very normal, plain existence. Or so I thought until things got bad enough or hard enough that I just didn't care anymore. And at that point, the color began to appear around me. I began to see things for what they really were, which is something without a label. The flower didn't know it was a flower. And I saw it for what it was for the first time, which was just a beautiful expression of consciousness. Something beautiful to look at, to smell, to touch rather than a flower. This began to open my eyes to many more things and I began to experience myself in a different way. So the honesty was that I was able to say, I don't feel like I'm enough. I finally said it out loud. And when I said it out loud, it wasn't true. And so this is what I would encourage you to do, is to start saying the things that you're afraid to say. Don't worry about whether they're true or not true. Don't worry about what other people are going to say or think about what you have to say. Just express yourself. You will know whether it's true or not. Put it down on paper if you need to first. Write these things down. Get these things out of your mind and into the world so you can take a look at them and experience them and find out if they're true or not true for you. What I found out is that spiritual means myself. Anything spiritual is anything that is of the essence of what I am. So my spiritual journey is simply the journey of self-discovery. To thine own self be true. I am being spiritual as long as I am. That's it. There isn't anything that I can do that isn't spiritual. I just didn't know that. So honesty means to my own self be true. Acknowledge myself. Acknowledge my feelings, thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. And examine them and ask myself, is it true? And can I absolutely know it's true? If I can't absolutely know something is true, I should explore it. Become curious. Use your curiosity to become a scientist. Live your life as an experiment. 
testing everything out. It's the only way you're ever going to know who and what you really are. So honesty and open-mindedness are the keys to the first step towards the spiritual awakening, which is just finding out what's true, what isn't true. Let go of all the preconceived notions of religion and spirituality. This doesn't mean that you have to let go of your beliefs, but let go of the words. Let go of the titles and the labels and just experience your life. Anything that you're keeping a secret because you're afraid of what other people will think, I have news for you. You're not hiding it. You can't. Around you is what some people would call your aura. Now, I don't experience, I don't see auras. What I do see, though, is I see people's stories. What I experience of another person is whatever they believe about themselves. They are surrounded by an energetic experience, which is the story or the truth that they believe about themselves. So don't think that you're hiding it from everybody. Start acknowledging your secrets. Bring them up to the surface. Talk to somebody about them. Get them out there. They're already in your aura. They're already around you. They're already in your energetic experience. They are already your story. Your secrets are your truth. So tell them. Let them be known. I would rather live in a world that knows me rather than to live in a world that, that believes I'm something different than I am. Being honest just means that I am accepting the truth about myself. The universe already knows it. I already exist the way I exist. All I have to do is accept it. And from there, I can make changes. And from there, there are many opportunities to become different things and experience different things in this world. But start by recognizing what you are right now, being honest about it. Any disturbance that you're experiencing is a resistance to being honest. Any resentment that you have is some resistance to the truth. So, the spiritual journey begins by accepting yourself and acknowledging yourself. So that's, that's my video for today. I'll check in with you tomorrow. And until then, know that you are loved. And remember that every thought you have is a meditation and every word you speak is a prayer.